Welcome back to Support and Honest Friday, powered by Heineken. And we're still in the new year, and we have some new artists on. I have Cupid this week. Uh, Thank you. You walk all the way. That's what she has. All the way. Did I do it? All the way! <laughs> well, thank you for coming on the show. Yes, yes. It's such a privilege. Glad to be here. Glad to be here, man. All right, so let's start this off first. What's, what does all the way mean? Tell me, what, what does that mean? Uh, well, all the way is... I, I grew up in Hawkins Hill. Okay. And, um, you know, Hawkins Hill, if you, if you, people drive over Hawkins If you don't know where Hawkins Hill is, that's where the immigration building is. Um, You're Hawkins not being... I know where Hawkins Hill is. <laughs> you know, Hawkins Hill was really... I don't want to speak ill about it, but you know, people would say there's nothing good can come come from Hawkins Hill. Um, but you know, there's a lot of great people, a lot of great lawyers and stuff like that came from Hawkins Hill. So even though I'm not living on Hawkins Hill, I still want to let people know from whence I came. And if you, you drive to Hawkins Hill, you'll see pumps. I used to tote water. I used to do all the things. So I just want to let people know that it ain't where you come from. It's where you get in here, where you going. Exactly. So all the way from Hawkins Hill, man. All the way from Hawkins Hill. <laughs> Did I get it? Yes. That's it, that's it, Cool. All right, so you are a Bahamian artist uh -huh. doing Bahamian music. Yes. And to me, that's a big deal. What is Bahamian music? You know, we get different uh, uh, explanations. Of you know, people, rake and scrape. What people deem Bahamian music. They, some people deem uh, Bahamian music as uh, Bahamian doing any kind of music, but... No, okay, okay. Let but me. That, but, that, but mind that, that's you, though. That's an interview on its own. That, yeah, that's a different <laughs> interview. But you are a Bahamian artist. Yes. The artist, artist doing Bahamian music. Yes. yes. You know the rake and scrape, the the junk the, the Yeah, the gombe. You're yeah. getting all up in there. Yeah. So tell us about that. Um. Where you want me to start? I mean, okay. It's sort of. I mean, you're a young guy. Do you yes. mind if I ask how old you are? Thirty. You're 30, meaning you're the Three same old. age, yeah. right? We're the same age. Uh -huh. And you're doing Bahamian music. You're doing rake and scrape music. That's not, not, that's not the usual thing. You know, I always tell people, right, um, you really have to um, stick to what's true to your roots. Mm -hmm. With me, when I was coming up in the bands, you know, I played the trumpet, and I came up to music from I was like seven, eight years old, playing mm -hmm. the trumpet. I know how to read music, I know how to write music. Nice. And I came up to the, the National Youth Orchestra with Duke L. Strong. I had some experience in COB with Justilian. Wow. So I, I grew up in music and for me, you know, my truth was always, I could always remember in, in, in Donald Davis after school, my music teacher, Edward Hanna, he would always play some Ronnie Butler, some Phil Stubbs, oh, some yeah. Penny Minutes. Mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. every after school, Three o'clock to five o'clock, I would hear these things in my head. You know, mind you, I only uh, I'm about 11, 10 years old, and I'm hearing these things constantly. So it became a part of my DNA. And then Tony nice. K was my godfather. Oh, you didn't have a choice. And then Pat Carey and Rick Carey, my cousins. Oh, you ain't had no uh, choice. So, so it's, 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 like, it's all up in there. God is like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so nice. So with me, I always tell people. You know, some people true. It's not Bahamian music. They came up with rap. They came up with the army. Mm -hmm. They fell in love with that because it was conducive to their environment. Mm -hmm. Right. And you got to live your truth. Exactly. That's your truth. And my truth is Bahamian music. Bahamian, you down feel, to the roots. I feel that, um, you know, um, you know um, we, we just lost a great icon. Uh, yes. Um, 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 Ronnie Butler. And, uh, um, you know, we, we, we got to make sure preserve the Ronnie Butlers to come. Exactly. It might not even be me. It might be the oh, guy after me. Oh, I got goosebumps. You can't even see the goosebumps, but exactly. <laughs> it might be the guy after me. The so truth I is. I just want to preserve what I can for the next fella to come. Exactly, because the truth is, if we don't have any yeah. young people embracing the Bahamian music, the Bahamian embrace, culture, going, we're going to lose it. Yeah. So we're kudos. not gonna lose it. We're not gonna lose it. You know why? Because we got we get all the way. Here. We got all the way. Yeah, we got people <laughs> like him going all the way. We get all the way. Here. Before we go any further, mm -hmm. let's go ahead and see what's up this week. Welcome back to another episode of Support Nottis Friday Entertainment Now, powered by Bahama Grill. Taste the islands. Speaking of tasting, do you feel like a sweet treat? Check them out and try out one of their freshly made tarts. They have coconut, pineapple, and guava. Mm, you'll be glad you did. Two premium clubs, two competing hotels. This is going to be good. Bond versus Aura. 
This past weekend, Aura hosted a birthday party for Adrian Fox, where Ace Hood and Maya performed. And knowing the SLS brand, I'm pretty sure they're going to be hosting a lot of celebrity parties. Which raises my next question. Where are the Bohemian artists going to fall in this? Are they going to fall on the sidelines? Or are they going to be stuck in the middle? Which would actually be pretty good. Shout out to Three Amigos Media and DJ CRX for the footage. This is Support Nottish Friday Entertainment Now, brought to you by Bahama Grill. Make sure to check them out on Saturday nights for some good eats, good treats, good drinks, and most of all, good music. See you guys next week. Alright, so let's get down deeper into what you're doing. Give me my culture. Explain that to me. Ah. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme, give gimme. Give gimme give the music. Gimme my culture is really about um, you can apply that to your life, man. And um, whatever your passion is, for me it was culture. So you can say, gimme my fill in the blank for you. And it, it's just a saying that sometimes you feel that you could be doing this thing and you do it so much, so many times. You feel like you still up and scratch the surface. Right. You know, give me my culture is just to say, you know, there's a silver lining to your dark clouds, but you gotta keep pushing forward. You know, dark clouds ain't meant to left. The, 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 it ain't meant to last there forever. Forever. Somewhere is the sunshine, but if you stop, you're not gonna see the sunshine. You never find it. So for me, it's about culture. So you can say, give me, give me, give me my uh, lawyer. You could be a, a doctor. You know what I mean? You could apply that to your life, and. Um, at the same time, I wanted to create a track that was different from my other tracks. Mm -hmm. You know, I always um, deal with the Bahamian music on a comical end. Right. Without being funny stories. Mm -hmm. and so I wanted to create a track that was dancey. At the same time, I wanted to create a track. If I die tomorrow, that track will play for another 20 years. Nice. And I think, I think uh, when I met up with Rick Carey, uh, he was able to produce, because he's a lover of Tony McKay too. Yes. So we was able to produce something so great. I got to get Rick on the show. Rick, I'm coming for you. Coming for you. <laughs> <laughs> so we was able to produce something great, man. And we got his dad and Pat Carey to play the guitars. 
Nice. So, so, so uh, it, 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 it came out in a great track, and the track, the track is playing in Las Vegas. I ain't even being Las Vegas. You're showing Vegas off yet. now. You're showing off. <laughs> but speaking about showing off, let's quickly tell them about the um, Junkanoo Bahamas, Bahamas Carnival. Bahamas. Yes, Bahamas Junkanoo Carnival. Well, you know, um, I, I, I was a part of that. Uh, what did you come? I came second place. Second place. Mm -hmm. Wow, congratulations. Thank you. Uh, the, the money was, 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 it was nice. It was nice. <laughs> Good. <laughs> So, um, Bomber Jones Carnival was, was just an opportunity. I saw what was presented over the two years period, and I said, hey, I could use that opportunity to expose my brand, uh, who Cupid is, what I do on stage. Right. You know, everybody has a, an edge to their ability. My edge, my ability is in entertainment. Entertainment. I I'm excited. Your, I keep your mode open while you see me on stage, because you don't know what I can come up with next. I'm, nice. I'm so, um, I think Bomber Jones Carnival is a, is, a, is a great vehicle. Uh, I think if we use it, um, the way it should be used, it would be great. Uh, to push more yeah, artists, artists out there. I love it. So before we go, go ahead and tell our audience where they can find you. Is your music on sale? Yes, you can find me on iTunes. It's QPID242. Find me on Facebook. It's QPID242 everywhere. Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, uh, um, Google Circles, where we are. Love Snapchat, it. <laughs> everything. You on Snapchat YouTube, too? YouTube. I can't imagine you doing, going on Snapchat. Anyway. I'm, I'm not good at it. I'm trying to get better. I'm not good at it either. My manager told me he said I'm horrible at it. I'm getting better. You know. <laughs> this is Support Daughters Friday. Make sure to like, share, comment, subscribe, and purchase. We all need support. Why not start by giving some? See you guys next week. Where have all the good men gone? And where are all the gods? Where's the streetwise Hercules to fight the rising heart? I need a hero. I'm holding up for a hero. To the morning light. He's gotta be sure, and it's gotta be soon. And he's gotta be large.